Ladies and gentlemen, it's almost time for me to sell my Nissan Skyline GTR. But before I do, I've decided to take it to CarMax to see what they'll offer me for it. Now, I wasn't planning on doing this. I took my Hummer to CarMax for an appraisal a few weeks ago, and we had a few laughs, but I figured I wouldn't bother coming back in this car. But I've never received so many emails from readers about a particular topic as I have from them asking me to bring my Skyline to CarMax for an appraisal. Like this email from a reader named Timmy that says, Dear Doug, I am a reader named Timmy. It is my single greatest wish to see you take your Skyline into CarMax for an appraisal. I wish for this more than I wish for a little brother. So I mean, I gotta do it. But before we get started, a few words on the CarMax process. Here's how it works. They look over the car, they check the condition, they take it on a little test drive, then they look at auction results to see what similar cars are selling for, and they figure out if they can sell it on their front line or not, and then they make you an offer. Or at least, that's how it's supposed to work with a normal car. But the Skyline is not a normal car. It's 25 years old, it's imported, it's right-hand drive. It's not gonna show up in any of their systems. There aren't gonna be any auction results. So how the hell are they gonna value it? Here's what I think is gonna happen. I think they're not gonna be able to value it. I think they're gonna say, get out of here. And I don't really blame them. The car's right-hand drive, it's imported, it's got a 14-digit VIN number, the speedometer's in kilometers. It's a weird vehicle. Another possibility, they have no idea what they're looking at, so they value it like any other 25-year-old Nissan, like a Stanza or a Maxima. And they say, we'll give you 1600 or 1650 if you can find the spare key. Either way, I think we can safely say this will not be like a usual CarMax appraisal. So let's see what happens. Unfortunately, I can't show you what happens next due to big brother-like annoying privacy laws that protect hardworking CarMax employees from crazy people who want to film them. So instead, I'll act it out for you. First, we put some details into the computer. Are you the original owner of the car? No. Has the car been in an accident? No. Has the car been modified? No. Is there anything unsafe about the vehicle that should prevent us from taking it for a test drive? The steering wheel is on the wrong side. Have you, wait, what? And here's the best part. Nissan Skyline was already in their system, which means I'm not the first crazy weirdo to try this. Next, we took the car for a test drive, which went a little something like this. Actually, the guy who took the car on the test drive ended up being a huge car enthusiast and one of the nicest car dealer people I've ever met. He's the kind of person who I would actually be friends with in real life, although I presume he's under some CarMax policy not to speak to Doug DeMuro outside work hours. Once we got back to the car, I waited. And waited. And waited. And waited. And in the end, the offer is nothing. I don't have an offer here. This is that letter from Timmy. It turns out CarMax couldn't buy the car because the odometer is in kilometers and not miles. Well, they couldn't even make an offer. Although that may have just been a nice way of them saying, get your right-hand drive freak mobile out of here. And so we've learned something today. CarMax will buy any car, just as long as it's not a right-hand drive Nissan Skyline GTR. And that just means I'll have to sell it to somebody else. Anybody? Anybody? <laughs>